we all want higher wages, whether it's for ourselves or whether it's for uh, the community at large. However, just waving the wand and saying, here's a new minimum wage, doesn't necessarily get us there. Vermont, as you folks well know, has currently the third highest minimum wage in the country, yet we have the 21st high, uh, 21st average wage in the country. Our neighbors to the east, New Hampshire has the federal minimum wage, yet they have the ninth average wage. New York to our west has uh, an $8 minimum wage. Well, they just barely got there in January, but yeah. yeah. And they're currently the fourth highest average wage. There's, I'm not necessarily trying to say there's conclusions to that. All I'm saying is I don't know that you're going to find a correlation between higher minimum wage and higher average wage. I think we're talking about two different things. The trick, as we talked about earlier this morning, is growing the economy um, and instituting more demand for services that will actually benefit the average wages in the state. 